Hi everyone, my name is Kirsten Kennedy and this presentation will walk you through how to access the Workforce Support Expense Report for Stabilization 2.0. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take this link here and copy and paste it into your browser, or I think you will be able to just click on it. So once you've clicked on that link, you'll be directed to the newyork.gov login screen. You'll want to enter in your username and password and sign in. Once you've signed in, you'll be brought to the Grant Opportunities homepage. I want you to select the first option, which is Child Care Stabilization Grant. Click on Apply Review. Once you've clicked on Apply Review, you'll be brought to the Provider Verification screen. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to try to choose your facility under Choose Existing Application on the right-hand side. Put your mouse cursor in the center of this toolbar and click on it. If your facility comes up, highlight your facility and click Next. If your facility does not come up under Choose Existing Application, I want you to go over to the left-hand side under Start a New Application, and I want you to enter in your facility ID number. Click Search, and your facility should come up on the bottom of this page. Highlight the facility and click Next. So once we have chosen our facility under the existing application or verified our facility under Start a New Application, we are now in the Stabilization Grant Portal. Yay, we made it! In the portal, you will have the option to fill out your Workforce Support Expense Report. That option is going to be at the bottom of this page here. It's found under the Actions tab, and you will see things like disbursement details, update payment information, update tax identification information. But right at the bottom, you'll click on Workforce Support Expense Report. Now, this is what the Workforce Support Expense Report looks like. We have the categories that we can spend the money, we have the amount of money that we've spent in each category, and we also have our expense description and our records description. Now, in order to enter an information on this page, you will have to click on the little box over here where it shows the arrow leading down. You'll click on that arrow and edit will pop up. You'll click edit, and then you will be able to go over to each category and enter in either the dollar amount, expense description, or the records description. Your expense description is always going to be how you've spent the money. So 75% of this has to be used towards the workforce. So for your expense description, that would be payroll. Your records description is how you record that expense. So if you use a payroll company, um, if you use a bank account, you would want to put that information under record expense, so bank statement, payroll company, that sort of thing. Please to walk through for Stabilization 2.0 Workforce Support Expense Report. Again, my name is Kirsten Kennedy. I am part of the finance support team here at Brightside Up. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions and with any concerns that you may have. I hope this walkthrough has helped you um, get through the Workforce Support Expense Report. I know um, it has been a little bit of a bumpy road um, getting through the application, getting through the expense report, um, but I have to say I'm so excited that this funding is out here um, for all of our providers to take advantage of. So please feel free to reach out to me with any questions or concerns. Thank you so much.